Hello and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. Can you believe that we are now in the last few chapters of Genesis? When I started the Daily Visual Bible, a couple of questions I was asked was how I would be able to produce a show every day now far into the Bible would I record? The honest answer to the first was then and is today, only with a lot of prayer and reflection. The honest answer to the second at the time was that I would probably get halfway through Genesis. I find it a blessing that I have proved myself wrong on this matter and I pray that I will continue for a long time to come. I feel we've come a long way together by only covering the first book of the Bible. I look forward to our continued relationship as we explore more of what the Bible actually has to say. Don't forget that you can email me directly at dailyvisualbible at gmail.com and you can check out the website at www.dailyvisualbible.co.uk Of course, as always, you can find links to these in the description box below. When you're checking out those links, I ask you to consider the link of a friend of mine. Richard Turner will be cycling 207 miles to fight against human trafficking. Please carefully consider sponsoring this noble cause at www.justkiving.com forward slash A21 cycle. When you consider that the average age of a trafficking victim is 12 years of age, I trust you see the importance of this charity. That 12 year old is bound to be somebody's daughter or little sister. And let's do the right thing and open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Genesis chapter 48 After these things, someone said to Joseph, Listen, your father is sick. He took with him his two sons, Manasseh and Ephraim. Someone told Israel and said, Look, your son Joseph comes to you. And Israel strengthened himself and sat on the bed. Israel said to Joseph, God Almighty appeared to me at Luz in the land of Canaan and blessed me and said to me, I will make you fruitful and multiply you and I will make of you a company of peoples. I will give this land to your offspring after you for an everlasting possession. Now your two sons who were born to you in the land of Egypt before I came to you in Egypt are mine, Ephraim and Manasseh, even as Reuben and Simeon will be mine. Your issue, whom you become the father of after them, will be yours. They will be called after the name of their brothers in their inheritance. As for me, when I came from Padan, Rachel died by me in the land of Canaan on the way, when there was still some distance to come to Bethlehem, and I buried her there on the way to Bethlehem. Israel saw Joseph's sons and said, Who are these? Joseph said to his father, They are my sons, whom God has given me here. He said, Please bring them to me, and I will bless them. Now the eyes of Israel were dim for age, so that he couldn't see. He brought them near to him, and he kissed them and embraced them. Israel said to Joseph, I didn't think I would see your face, and behold, God has let me see your offspring also. Joseph brought them from between his knees, and bowed himself with his face to the earth. Joseph took them both, Ephraim in his right hand towards Israel's left hand, and Manasseh in his left hand towards Israel's right hand and brought them near to him. Israel stretched out his right hand and laid that on Ephraim's head, which was the younger, and his left hand on Manasseh's head, guarding his hands knowingly. For Manasseh was the firstborn. He blessed Joseph and said, The God before whom my fathers, Abraham and Isaac, walked, the God who has fed me all my life long to this day, the angel who has redeemed me from all evil, bless the lads, and let my name be named on them. In the name of my fathers, Abraham and Isaac, let them grow into a multitude upon the earth. When Joseph saw that his father laid his right hand on the head of Ephraim, it pleased him. He held up his father's hand to remove it from Ephraim's head to Manasseh's head. Joseph said to his father, Not so, my father, for this is the firstborn. Put your right hand on his head. His father refused and said, I know, my son. I know. He also will become a people. 
and he also will be great. However, his younger brother will be greater than he, and his offspring will become a multitude of nations. He blessed them that day, saying, In you will Israel bless, saying, God make you as Ephraim and as Manasseh. He set Ephraim before Manasseh. Israel said to Joseph, Behold, I am dying, but God will be with you, and bring you again to the land of your fathers. Moreover, I have given to you one portion above your brothers, which I took out of the hand of the Amorite with my sword and with my bow.